Uh, right, so we'll just start from now. All right, come on then, boys. Um, yes, so as you've just seen in the start of the video, you'll have just seen uh, we have just done the lucky wheel app and we have picked out Colchester United of League Two. Of course, out of a possible few teams, of course, we picked Saudi Arabia, all these different countries, and went through the uh, leagues in them countries, whichever one was picked. So, it's going to be a really, really interesting turn of events here as I'll just quickly create my character. The red tie of course, no eyewear, we get black socks and the cheeky tan shoes. Now then, as I've just said, League 2 Colchester. Of course, in about mid-table in the old League 2 in real life. I need to remember to turn that there, turn that there, done. Now we can start it. Alright, Hodgie 15, YT, my geezer. Here we go. I'll tell you what, I'm ready for this one. I am ready for it. Create the new career mode. Career mode, manager progress. Number two. As Joe De Vader is in here, we're going to set up the tactical vision of... Well... You know how we do it. Gag and press. We're going to bring in him. Stick him. There. <gasps> I didn't even realise this. Tom Hopper. Ha ha. It's Tom Hopper. It's Tom Hopper. Tom Hopper. Tom Tom Hopper. Tom Hopper. Tom Tom Hopper. Come on. He, he used to be a League City, uh, League City player, um, for anyone who doesn't know. Uh, I am not going to answer that one, Harry. And you've just been name-dropped in a video, so uh, that, is, that is a bad do. Anyway, we see here, there are some players here that could easily get into the first team as soon as possible. But we are just going to quickly check what our team is like so far. And as we can see, we've got Tom Hopper there, who will... Oh my god, Akinde's there as well. John Akinde, I think his name was. So we'll have Wilkinson up front. Um, Alice, Alice Smith. He's on loan from Lincoln. Huh, we've got Lincoln City here. Um, yep. So, we've got some... No, I don't want to cause any more... More... Oh, shut up, Harry. Uh, I don't, I don't want to cause any more discrepancies, but Harry Anderson also used to be a Lincoln. <laughs> this is quite funny, this is. Um, I don't think we're going to make that many changes to the squad, although I am quite questioning this. A right mid left wing back... Hmm... I mean, we can always see how they're doing pre-season. Of course, in pre-season, we're not going to do anything at all. Um, what do we need to focus on? What do we need to focus on? Probably a striker. Or a striker or a defender. Um... we we'll see on here... <clears throat> Excuse me. Lewis Richardson could be a shout to uh, get a loan in early on into this career mode. We had a pre season tournament invite. We're going to go to this one. Obviously, we've got the big Lincoln City in there, hoping they, they win it. Uh, but then again, hope we win it. So it's a bit of a, bit of a uh, cheeky little. I don't know. Here we go then. Yeah, future's exciting haul. I just fell off a building. Okay. I bet that hurt. That'll itch in the morning. Lewis Richardson, 61 year uh, rated. It's not that bad to be fair, but I don't know whether I really want that in my squad at the moment.
as we advance to the Burton game. Obviously, European Cup, it's not, it's nothing big, so we will just quick sim these. We do lose, and who's not had a good game? Many people. In fact, everybody. Uh, they seem to have just run us about for that uh, game, which is uh, brilliant, I'll tell you now. It's fantastic. As we now go into the Shrewsbury game. be lovely to uh, not lose this. But we lose it 3-0. So we can see how far we are from these League One teams. And maybe we will uh, struggle as it comes towards the season. Remember to use substitutes. Not really that bothered. You know, you can be quiet for all I care. I don't want to do that. What did I want to go in? I wanted to go into training plan. I want to stick everyone on performance focused. No. Energy. Oh no, he could be uh, all out performance, yeah. Because keeper. And then keep all them on there, and then all out performance on all of these. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, it did hurt. Okay, not my problem though, is it? I'm sorry, but it's not. Um, I mean, <clears throat> with Colchester, it's going to be difficult. It is going to be difficult. Um, I'd love to be able to. Oh, we do get a point there. Um, that's weird. Just cut it out, mate. Um. At the end of the day, I want to be able to say, you know, we could be challenging off for playoffs, but <coughs> I don't know. I don't know. As our first game is against Accrington, I think a left wing back is probably in order. Um, yeah, we need a left wing back. So it's just scout for one. I want. Their age to just be, we want them um, probably under 25. And a first team quality player. Find me some of them and you'll be getting a pay rise. As we actually get a transfer offer from Akron to Stanley, we have to say no. I mean, we've got a little bit in the bank, but end of the day not not the uh, greatest thing and I don't get this I just said no to Akron to Stanley 420,000 to offer me 350,000 what do you think the answer will be Nathan how tall are you um, let me tell you now I am 6 foot 2 well I'd say that it's probably 6 foot 1 and a half realistically but yeah yeah there you go and I'm a sensible question a sensible question well done, Harry. Here we go. Then. Over to the Accrington game. This is going to be a difficult, difficult game. I have to admit. Here we go. The setup counter attacking. We're going to press conference. I hope. Um, yeah, of course. I'm happy with what I got here. <laughs> oh. Let me let me pose a question to you, Harry. How tall are you? McGeehan. Uh, we just gotta wait and see for him. Um, I can't. I can't really, you know, try and help there, but I'm looking at this. I don't mind that. No, I don't mind that at all. Here we go. Our first game in this career mode okay Nathan shh nah mate come on leak your tight out mate because I know it so uh oh I think I know it I know it's uh, not the greatest of things to shout about here we go then for the Colchester game 
versus Atkinson Stanley. We're at home today. This could be a really, really big game here. Paul. Bar bottle. Go on. Great player. Great play. Great play. What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, that's fine. Go on, playing a little bit of possession here. Great shot. Oh, seven saves. Pickles now. Boots it long. And Harbottle will just play it to Richardson. Infield to Hall. Just on the halfway line. At the moment. Colchester doing the best of the two teams. Of course, Atkinson not really having any chance to ball. It's Hall plays it to Harbottle on the right-hand side. And also with them stacking up with a five back it looks like it's going to be an interesting game there's a lot of teams nowadays stacking up with the five back and in the lower leagues and the league one league two sides but of course unless you like challenging for promotion then you'd or at least you've established as a big team Martin now trick it as what I got oh here's the bar Bar is still shaking after that one. Is Colchester lucky? As looking for the pass to the striker there. Now Bickerstaff, McConville. Bickerstaff. Out on the left, puts the ball in. Comes off the head of Ariandolo. And he goes out for a corner, as we see again. Yeah, it just pushes his ear, it looks like. Corner. And it's dealt with by the first man just to the edge of the area. Though, no. other graces clearances. Bickerstaff. Coil. Good save from Goodman. It goes out for another corner in the 15th minute. Conville. Whips the ball in. Front man. Bickerstaff. Well. It's 1 0 Atkinson, and you could suggest that maybe the keeper should be doing a little bit better. As a celebration in front of the cameras. I'm going to see again here on the replay. Ball comes in. Quite a low ball. Just flicked on. I think the keeper could do a bit better than that. Loops over him, but we'll see again here. Agonisingly close to getting the ball, stopping the ball crossing the line, but it does. Tavid again, Richardson again, Tavid Richardson, Reed Richardson. You can hear the Atkinson fans, but you also hear the. Colchester fans singing United, United. Trying to get these players to get a move on it. Good from Reed. Chilvers. Plays it to Wilkinson. To Veed! Just wide of the mark. As we look here. Just wide of going into that top left corner. Just brushes the post on its way past. As Savin now has the chance. To take his team up, but Richardson deals with the aerial threat. And now Iandolo on the left hand side will be able to have a little bit of a run. Tries to play it in field two. The striker. Conville now. Bickerstaff, the goal scorer. Atkinson just playing it around at the moment. And Harbottle, great chance from him. Again, Richardson to lead. Tries to go past his man Pickles. Savin kicks long. Chilvers gets it. Plays it to Tavid. Tavid! It's a goal for Colchester. And it's been a long time coming. Colchester get the goal. And it's 1-1 on the half-hour mark. 
You look again, four time possession, Chilvers being the influential man, and Tavid pushes it low to the left. Keeper can get down quick enough, and it is 1 1 here at the Colchester United Stadium. Bickerstaff, Lee, Arbottle challenges, and again he challenges to Veed now. Wilkinson tries to stop the ball, but unfortunately not. Savin now plays it to Mello. Wilkinson, good plays from him. He's now in an attacking position. A little back heel to Chilvers, but unfortunately intercepted, but it falls to McGeehan, and he has an easy tap-in from close range. It's 2-1 Colchester. Harry's put somewhere in the chat that I cannot understand. But Colchester lead, and you, I mean, they try to clear it out. Hits the back of the guy who tried to duck out of the way. And McGeehan, well, he gets to just put it home, poke it home almost. And it's 2-1 Colchester. Good of Ada happy. You can hear the United coming out of the fans. Such a short time since the first goal went in for Colchester. And Accrington Stanley well. From 1-0 down, the 2-1 down now. So from 1-0 up, sorry, the 2-1 down in the space of minutes. And Wilkinson, Favria, Harbottle, Hall, Ian Dolo. Of course, Colchester could be looking for playoffs this season. Hall, Harbottle, Favria, Harbottle. Back to Fevria. Jovis plays a 1 2 with Fevria. Now crossed in, but Pickles gets to it and clears it out of danger for a throw in. But to be fair, Colchester have been the better team. Of course, there's only been that one header as now Fevria in space crosses it in. A bit too close to Savin, and Savin will get the ball. Bickerstaff, lay, and it's good interception by Wilkinson. And this Colchester team are up for it today. Tavid, but the referee's called for something here. Offside, as you can see there on the graphic that just popped up on the screen there. Makes sense. Hall. Now to Ian Dolo. Favria. Reed. Tries to play it to Wilkinson. Can't though. Two minutes added on. One minute and a half played. Half a second. Half a minute left. In fact, that's full. That should be half time. But no, the referee's going to allow play to continue. And it's going to continue to a, a dangerous attempt here from Acton to get a level before half time. Bickerstaff. Good challenge from Reed. It goes to Chilvers who clears it. It's going to be the full time at the half time whistle blowing here. 2 1 Colchester turned it around. Well, to start off this career mode, it wouldn't be bad to win. McGeehan with one chance and one goal. I mean, the chance fell to him. Quite uh, fortunate, was it, wouldn't he, it, to be in that position? Fender tried to clear it, bounced off one of his men. Probably one of the luckiest goals he's going to have this season. Probably in his career. Late. It's a shot that he won't want to be seeing back on the highlights again. Goodman. Harbottle. And that was Richardson. What can he do here in the second position? Nothing. Gives the ball away. Big stuff now. Coyle. Out to trick it. Gonna have a little bit of a run. Just plays the pass to Ian Dolo, the opposite number. Chilvers plays it to the left to Wilkinson to run onto. That's to stop the ball. 
play it back to Chilvers. He's going to get past his man. Chilvers is heart of the play at the moment, but maybe the wrong pass. Oh, my life! One of the luckiest goals again. The goal Jesse there looks seems to be on point today. It's a bad shot from Chilvers. Hits the keeper, but then it hits the defender and goes in as an own goal. Accrington's look is not looking good today at all. As Pickles gets an own goal. And he looks really un unimpressed by that. 3-1 now. We've still over half an hour to play. And oh my god, could we see a battering for the first game of the season. I think what we want to do is just keep a bit of possession here. Oh, not like that then. Big stuff. Conville. And, well, got a free shot in there, trying to probably do what Chilvers did. To no avail. Bavria, Hall, Aindola, all the way out to Richardson, who plays it in field to McGeehan, the goal scorer. And that's a poor, poor pass. Trick it now. Is it to Bickerstaff? And there, Indolo again, another crucial defender in this uh, in these plays. Intercepts and now Favria and puts it back to Lee. Favria gets it, but it does contain a foul in that thing. You'll walk the path, you'll rescue your sheriff, you'll be the hero, and then you'll choose. And if you don't listen to him, he'll be right. Never is so much waffle in my life. Hole plays it to Wilkinson. Now on the right hand side, he's going to have a little bit of a run here. He's in fact going to run a bit here. But in the end, Shipley gets rid of the danger. And here's Harbottle. Coyle. Mellow. Wally. Mellow. Just on this right hand side. That continues playing this round. Now they get the crossing, but the hole gets it clear. Tavid. Wilkinson trying to get a pass and over the top. Which could have led to a great break, but now Bickerstaff. Harbottle. Richardson. It's good from Colchester as of now. However, with how quick Colchester responded to the goal being a goal behind, we never know. To Reed now, Reed. Hall plays a really bad pass there. Bigger staff now. Lee. Coyle. Martin. Bigger staff. You know, look. Chilvers. Favria now on the left hand side in acres of space here gets a cross in Wilkinson makes it for for Colchester what a volley it was Waffling Wright is really saying that I'm waffling here and just as that comes in Colchester go 4-1 up here it's been clinical from them it has and Chilvers, even though he's had a great game, is coming off for Ali Smith. Ali Smith is an imp, is an imp, is an imp. Ali Smith is an imp. Big stuff. Colchester fans jumping for joy and a few Accrington fans looking for the exit. They're not happy. Lean out. To bigger staff. Martin. Bigger staff. Coyle. 
Oh, great from him. Goodman, all the way up for Reed. Smith for Wilkinson. And Hills makes a challenge. Will it go for a throw in? No, it won't. Sorry, throw in. I mean, corner. Shipley now. I think it sealed the deal for um, Colchester. This game. Not the worst game to be. Not the worst thing to be produced out of uh, Accrington. In Delo. Goes out to Favia, but he has to go all the way back to Hall. Goes it to the right of him, to Harbottle. Gets it to Richardson. Now to McGeehan. Coyle intercepts. Now it's with Lee. Now out to the left to McConville. And as you can see here, 87 and a half minutes played, just coming up to the 80 mark. And you have to say, you can't really see. Accrington spurring a comeback now. 89 minutes played and well the Colchester fans know it. They've just probably gone first on goal difference. Harbottle. Reed. Poor pass and Pickles will intercept. Two minutes added on one of them has been played. Big staff. McConville. Hall. Plays it to Goodman. We could be caught in possession. No, we won't. We'll clear it out, and that'll be half. Uh, sorry, that'll be full time here. Four-one, Colchester against Accrington. What a game it was! What a game, it was. and what a yeah, season Colchester will have if they carry on like this. Yapatron, shut up, mate. Shush. Connor Wilkinson bagging the goal. Back in the goal that, you know, from his one attempt that he had. Colchester 4, Accrington 1. What a game it was. What a game it was. Post match interview. We see here. We'll be top now. Accrington will be bottom. Great win. Great win. Make the home stadium a fortress. That's what I say. Win your home, draw your away. McGeehan will be happy with that performance, of course. Chilvers, he was brilliant. He won't always play, but, you know, we've got to bring in Ali Smith sometimes. He's on loan, he's got to get that game time in for us to keep him, and of course he is a great player for this team. Ian Dolo is actually left-back, but he is playing well as a centre-back, so... You know, this is our first ch real chance in this career mode to use this development plan. I'm going to change him to a centre-back. Because for me, he's he's brilliant at centre-back at the moment. As now we look ahead to the Mansfield game, we are top. But the goal difference of three, Crew Alexandra, Stockport and Sutton all keeping clean sheets in the last game, winning 2-0. And yeah, we could be seeing a really, really big game. Um, ahead of us here. New squadly report. Of course, maybe none of these are going to get in there at the moment, but definitely um, in the future they might be able to, maybe later on in the season when they do get up to some pace. We're going to look at this scout report. We've got some left wing backs now who are here and could be joining us. We're going to scout the two Cheltenham players actually the Will Ferry and the Ben Williams see if they want to join the team because if if they do it's a big big um, chance. We're actually going to have a look at Grieve there Danny Rose? No that's not the same Danny Rose. Surely not but Stout we're also going to scout him. I think anyone who's actually like from a big team as well we can scout if they want to join the club on a uh, loan, feel free, to be honest with you, because I'm happy doing that. I don't mind loan offers. As now we've got Mansfield away as well, so it's going to be a difficult game. Of course, atmosphere is going to be key for these lot here. Here we go. At Mansfield, one of the worst places in the world, 
Oh, I'm joking. Oh, I'm only joking. Mansfield now take the kick off. Lewis plays it to Keeler Dunn. Bower tank. Keeler Dunn. Bower tank to Lewis to Nichols. Harbottle makes the interception. McGeehan now turns his man and gets a little bit of space to run into. Plays it to Tavid. But Tavid gets challenged by Cargill. Kilo Dunn. Atkins. Nichols. Kilo Dunn. Anderson. On the right hand side. And Favia blocks it for a throw in. Anderson. Nichols. Boateng. Reed. Chilvers. Plays in. Wilkinson, but the offside flag goes up. Clearly so, to be fair, when I played that pass, I knew it was the wrong pass. Lewis now. Mansfield controlling possession. Kilo done. Boateng gets challenged by Fravia, but he ends up with the ball, and Goodman makes a brilliant save to the bottom left of him. The bottom right, as you look at the goal, what a save it was. Down smartly. Nichols now. Passes man. Cargill. What a goal. What a goal from the Mansfield defender. He makes it one for Mansfield in ten minutes. And it is unfortunate. It is unfortunate. Cargill with the shot. Top right corner. Oof. They think even Allison or Edison get into that one to be honest with you. Powerful with good placement. And Colchester, well they're not they're not unused to being behind. Of course last game they won four one from being behind. They might respond quickly here. Wilkinson. Tavid. Tavid with a shot and Pim with a save. Not the greatest shot straight out of the keeper to be fair. So keeper clears. But Hall. Well, possible shouts of uh, a foul there. Wilkinson. Fabia. Has to just play it back to Wilkinson. Plays it to the edge of the area, but he does get taken out in the process. The yellow card for Tom Nichols of the Mansfield shirt colour. And Chilvers has a now got a chance to put this ball in to the box. It's the run from the edge of the box. Unfortunately, no real attempt at the goal from it. Nichols now. And Fravia makes a brilliant challenge in the midfield. Wilkinson is now away. Wilkinson. Pim makes a save. And Mansfield now not looking like the Mansfield we saw in the first ten minutes. Chilvers. Reed, of course, getting the one point. Uh, did Mansfield last time out. Can't really give you any more details. Didn't really look into it, but... It's good play now from Colchester. Unfortunately, no end product from him. Atkins, Boateng. Atkins. Cargo. Reed, Atkins. Mansfield playing the ball around quite well. Now it's with McDonald on the left hand side. But Ian Dolo, yet again, an influential defender. Makes the challenge for Avia. And what a break this is from Colchester. Oh my god, is this lovely, but Wilkinson sort of lets it down. With that pass. I mean the touch wasn't that good either. Anderson. For Avia. It's gonna be a foul, and as we can see here, Sudakov, 14.5 million pounds transferred to Royal Antwerp from Shakhtar Donetsk. They're not sure why we need to know that, but we did. 
We short to Flint now. Anderson. Lewis. Nichols. Lewis. Reed. Atkins. That's a block from Hall and it's going to go for a corner. Good block from Hall. Stayed with his man. Lewis. Kilo Dunn. Oh, it goes back to Kilo Dunn. And, well, it's two for Mansfield. And you could blame Hall. You can definitely blame Hall. As you can see here, Kilo Dunn just being able to just run away, run around. To be fair, I don't like it that the AI seem to always like to use the that cutback. You can't really defend it, but you know. Oh, excuse me. Colchester with a long road to climb. Can they do it here at the Mansfield Stadium? Hall, Chilvers, Reed, out to Richardson. Richardson now. Heavy touch blocked off, and now it's going to be a goal kick. With 37, 36 minutes played of the 90. Of course, half time still up to come. And you can already envision the team talk with Colchester. Well, they did well last time out with a 4 1 win over Accrington. Of course, a couple of their goals are quite lucky. No foul on to Veed there. Referee says, get up. Yeah, good good uh, good win. Quite lucky, but good win. I think without the look without the lucky goals it's two one win. Hall. Harbottle. To Richardson. Again. To Veed. Great strength from him. It holds off the defender. Richardson. Out to Harbottle. Plays it back to Richardson. Looks for the one two from McGeehan. Gets it back. And well, your guess is as good as mine whether that was a cross or not. Um, because if it was, it was dreadful. Donald. Shouts for handball. Referee says no, but McGeehan comes away with the ball anyway. Not a good pass to Wilkinson. And Colchester pressing. Pressing well it. And to be honest, not the greatest of their uh, aims to the uh, half there for Mansfield. But at the end of the day, they're 2 0 up. We're not. Because now, we need to look for a big, big half here. Because that's poor. That's really poor. And Harbottle in some sort of discomfort here. Is it going to be a red card? Bower tank. Just the yellow. See in the replay how dangerous it was. I mean, not a lot of contact in there, but rash on the Achilles heel it looked like. Reed. Go to Wilkinson. Again. Richardson is offside. And that's the problem with this team. Richardson could definitely beat the defender from a mile, but it doesn't matter. Thought he was about to run onto it and try and get into a cross position. However, he um, did half of it. But it went out of play in the end. Harbottle challenged. Donald. Reed makes the challenge. Richardson. McGeehan. Now it's to to, to Reed. Tries to play a ball to Wilkinson. Can't though. Pim now on the ball. Now it's to Anderson. Now then, just whilst we're playing it, I know a lot of you are going to be asking, where is this Burnley career mode? I know you were so close to being in this relegation battle. Um, I've decided to scrap it. You didn't see most of the games. Uh, it's free now for Mansfield. Both end with the goal. You didn't see most of it. Um, 
pretty little glitch. And I just thought, what's the point of having it if, if you haven't seen much of it? There's no point uh, having it having it there. So you can still watch the episodes, but we're not going to do any more on it. As much as you lot always loved it, because the views and the likes, or whatever. It's not being used now, as that's going to be a foul and a talking to from the referee for the Lansfield player. And I tell you what, it's going to be interesting because I'll be I'll be amazed if um, Gold Chester can get away from back from this one. As Hall, what a challenge! A couple of these challenges flying in. A couple, well, two challenges now from Colchester. What some challenges they are. Chopping challenges. Here is Atkins on the left-hand side. Plays it to Boateng. Kilo done. Good win with the save. Good, good, good man. Good save. Lewis. Good save from Goodman. Mansfield still controlling this plays. Chilvers is going to come off yet again for Ali Smith. The usual substitution that happens. Obviously on loan from Lincoln City in League One. As what a save again from Goodman. Folgester just can't seem to get this clear, and Goodman not uh, voicing his anger there. Heal or done, asking for the short. He's going to get that. Lewis. That's going to be a foul in the opinion of the referee. 65 minutes played of the 90. Far bottle to lead. Richardson. Challenge now. Heal or done. Richardson. Passes it straight to Lewis and it's four for Mansfield. I'm going to see John Akinde coming on for Wilkinson. David Akinde. Of course, had a brilliant spell at Lincoln City after his after Barnet. Reed, Richardson. David. Kilo done. It really hasn't been a good showing from Colchester, you have to admit. Nichols. Smith. Can't quite get the ball. Atkins. Well, Colchester are getting the same treatment as they did. As they um, gave Accrington. Hall now. Kinde. One more to Tavid. He pulls it back from McGeehan. Who gets his second goal in two matches. It's one. It's 4 1. Not that he's going to be celebrating. As he literally just gets the ball, places it down. Tells him to get on with it. Reed, Boateng. Kilo done. Could it be five? No, it hits the bar. Well, it might have hit the post, actually. Lewis. Laughing. Atkins. And what a save it was from Goodman. Now from McGeehan. Arbottle. Richardson. And it goes out of play from. Oh, I didn't even see who that was actually, to be fair to you. Oh, it's Poff and Richardson. And McDonald now. David. Well, 
I'll tell you now, if you were thinking, oh, Nathan's just going to breeze past this, you're going to easily do this. Name no, no mistake. I don't think so. Nichols, Atkins. Atkins, it's a goal, it's 5 1. 5 1. David Smith, Favria. And it was all looking good last game. Well, it's not looking good now, is it? Hopefully, the fans will hope this is just a one-off. Well, there's not many fans left in the ground, to be fair, to see that one from the Colchester support. There's McDonald just bullying Richardson here. And the Colchester fans are not liking it. Goodman. Richardson now. And actually, there's a player down here for Mansfield. Not that the referee can stop the play because he's off the field. McGeehan now. Could it be a little bit of damage limitation? No foul. And it's run out of play. It's going to be 5 1 Mansfield. What a win it was for them. And I am not pleased with that at all, if I'm going to be dead serious with you. But there you go. And that, after this press conference, will be that. So make sure you are subscribed. Uh, hit that red button underneath. Uh, if It will turn red if, if you haven't subscribed. And you know what red means? It means bad. So if you do have it as a red button, it means you are a bad person. If you click, it will turn a nice little grey colour. Which, of course, means happiness. Which it doesn't, but there you go. So, hit that, then you got to hit the like button, let me know what it col what colour it turns to you, for you, because some, some people have been going, it's, it turns rainbow colour, to, some people say it turns grey, black, blue, you check, you have a look, like the video, comment if you see anything that I need to change, any plays you, need, you want to see in this career mode, I'll see you guys in the next one, peace out, and goodbye.